It's cold out. It's not warm. And we have colds. We do. And it's dry too, real dry. Real dry here in Tennessee in December. And we've decided to crawl underneath the boat and replace the mounting bracket for the Lawrence 3 in 1 transducer. Why are we doing that? Because we have a need. A need for speed. <laughs> Was that a Top Gun reference? Yeah. He's never even seen Top Gun. That's a dumb movie. It's not a dumb movie. That's an incredibly horrible thing to say. This is what we're doing. We are replacing the transducer mount that's right here to right here. That's where it's going. And it's because that it actually hangs lower than the hull of the boat. It's about three quarters of an inch lower than the hull, which if you know anything about Corvettes means that we're losing speed. We're losing speed, man. And uh, it was brought to our attention, uh, dude down at Fish and Fun, Tom, good dude. And he goes, man, if you want to give your buddy a bad day, you get underneath his boat and you run a beat of cock. Just, just run some cock. Just run some cock underneath the boat, right on the hull, all the way across, and he'll lose at least five, 10 mile an hour. Yeah. And I was like, you're full of shit. And he's like, no, I'm not. And that's why this thing's moving, because it's below the hull. When you're on plane, it is dragging. <clears throat> and uh, we're not getting enough we're not getting enough speed out of this some bitch. Not enough RPM. 5200 RPM on a boat that's supposed to get almost a thousand RPM higher than that, which equals like at least five to ten miles an hour more probably. Yeah, more like ten. Now you're wondering like, could it be that we have all the tackle on the boat? What you're wondering is, could it be that you guys are fat? That's the and and you would be right. <laughs> yeah. You also, can. there's a shitload of tackle on the boat. There is more tackle weight than us weight, I think. Hard to believe. <laughs> you might say, but we're turning a new leaf. We are turning a new leaf. And this we're is we're getting we rid of tackle, not getting rid of fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We're sexy. Yeah. I don't give a shit with anyone. Look, fat's not <laughs> thin. Anyway, the point is, we're gonna move the transducer. Uh, by way of this Lowrance flush mount. And uh, it's about 65 bucks, I think, something like that. 60 to 70 bucks, depending on how deep you want to go on the internet and find it. We just bought it from Tom down at Fishing Fund, Chattanooga Fishing Fund. We're gonna do it, we're gonna put it on and, and we're gonna take her for a run and see what happens. Drill some holes, lay some cock, should be fun. I mean, drilling holes in a boat, what could possibly go wrong? Nothing. He's an expert. Shit will buff. He's an expert. He drills holes in boats for a living. I do. And uh, I'm pretty good at being like, that's a pretty good spot for that <laughs> yeah. their hole. You show me where and I'll put the hole there. You line it up and I'll drive it home? That's right. <laughs> we need to go. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up this tension nut on this bracket to bring this thing down so I can get to it. As you can see here, now I can access these screws. And I'm, we're going to just remove, there's, there is four screws holding this mount onto the actual hole of the boat. Those are coming right out. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast, right? Good to go. Two. They actually put a block on there so that it it doesn't totally hit the trailer. Right, is it's, that, a, it's talk, a spacer. That is crazy. Yeah, they use the spacer to make sure that you guys, most of the time, wouldn't hit the trailer. And you still hit the trailer because there's a dent. Yeah, and you still hit it because there's a dent here in the foam. <laughs> Isn't that wild? What a shitty ass spot to put that. Yeah, it is bad. Now we can remove the wire harnessing screws which we may put back on we're actually, gonna probably have to which is gonna be sweet actually because that means less holes in the yeah less new less holes, in, holes the in the hole less cock i gotta put less cock some of you might be wondering why we don't want more cock i don't know <laughs> okay now we're good now the transducer is removed i can take the transducer off of this dumb mount that they have that yeah that mount would work if it was over here. Yeah. But absolutely. they didn't put it over there. <laughs> absolutely. So now we're just going to remove this straight off. Not a big deal.
face. That's six, in case you guys are wondering. Perfect. Okay, so we got everything off. <clears throat> got the transducer off the bracket. We're gonna wipe this thing clean. It's got lots of mud in there. You know why? Because it's dragging the dirt. <laughs> and then we're gonna clean where it's going so I can see a little better. All right. Okay, so we've got everything cleaned off. This mount, as weird as it might seem, mounts like this. So you're gonna wanna think that it goes like this because that makes a bunch of sense, but it doesn't because obviously that would mount your transducer upside down. It goes like this. Boom, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hand feed these, hand thread these in there to start with. Make sure you didn't lose your crush washers when you took it off the other mount. Get them in place. Where the impact mud? Right behind it here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Snug that up. Perfect. The other one. So when you guys go to set up your wire, this wire can run down the center of this thing like this. It kind of holds the wire in. We're not going to do that because without doing it and mounting it, we can use the same holes that they used to harness the wire originally. And if I don't have to drill holes in the boat, that's a plus. Pretty, pretty pumped about that. Yeah, it's sure. just like one thing less we got to worry about. Yeah. So now that you decide how you're going to fix your wire, then you can do the other side of your mount. Oh. Perfect. Now. I need a marker or something. Marker? Something. Hmm. Question is, will you be able to see black? No, probably not. Yeah. Well, I have red and blue markers too. I don't think that's gonna work either. Okay. Yeah, I'm being completely <laughs> honest. <laughs> All right. Glove box sure is full. Yeah, we're gonna get that fixed today too, don't worry. <laughs> a spatula. <laughs> now, we're just gonna put some silicone, marine grade, of course, all in this screw. It smells bad. <laughs> it's okay. Use more than you think you need. Oh. <laughs> That is the thumbnail. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? I mean, that's a problem with working with cock upside down. Sometimes <laughs> it gets on your face. It <laughs> gets on your face, yeah. That's true. That's true. It's the damnedest thing. There, there is cock on my face. Yeah, there is some cock on your face. Oh. Okay. Now we're just gonna put it in the hole, man. Here you go. There's another screw. You get one. <laughs> Thanks, bud. No problem. No, no problem. Do you want me to pre cock them? Or no? <laughs> I'm gonna cock it over to the side. Okay. I have no idea how much I hate boats. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> it was so smelly. Yeah, it's Cock pretty... smells bad. Cock does smell bad, yeah. <laughs> number two, number two. Roosters, crow, cock a doodle doodle doo. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's a B. 
you. <laughs> Butte clock. <laughs> All right. What the? Perfect. We're on. Okay, guys, so. Flush mount is mounted. So now we have the old holes from where that thing was dumb mounted up here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put screws back in it. If you have your original screws from it, you didn't use on the other one, you use those. We're gonna fill them with a bunch of silicone and put screws back in it. Boom. And then there's a little extra. What I'll do, I'll just cap in there. And I'm gonna wipe it. Subsequently, that. The, the screws that came out of it didn't have silicone at all. Yeah. Which I'm um, pretty pumped about. Yeah, I didn't have to wipe any off. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's not weird when you know who did it, but I'm not gonna say it. so wild there was no silicone in there yeah it's not it's not that wild at all actually no at the same time i guess she didn't take on water so yeah so i'm just wiping the silicone off of the excess no reason to have it on there now the cool thing like i said before guys the way we mounted this thing we don't have to drill new holes for these harnesses i think we're going to be able to use the same old harness and we should. Yep, we're good to go there. We got the same screws that came out of it the first time. All we're gonna do is put the silicone on them and drive them back in. I feel like that's a good rule of thumb, you know? Work on stuff like it's your own. Some people don't subscribe to that particular <laughs> train of thought. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I love a good used hole, you know what I mean? Yeah. Perfect. All right, guys. And with that, we are flush mounted and ready to go. All right. What did we learn? We learned. Go ahead. We learned a couple things. Yeah. Not hard at all. Like once you get it. Once you're down, you got to figure it out. It's not hard to move that thing. What we did learn was the correct pre-hole, the pre-drill size. Super easy. Eighth inch drill bit. Drill eighth. And get, get you a long bit. Yeah, get you a long one. So you're you not hitting the able, transducer. Yeah, you want to be able to clear the There's transducer. a six inch extended. Get you one of those. They're cheap. And pre-drill with those. <clears throat> Other and they matter. go right in, man. Use yeah. plenty of silicone. Don't do what some people did when they put the transducer on, didn't use any silicone. That's... Yeah, we're not gonna talk about who did it, but not not one of the, how many screws? Four, six. Four Another, to mount the- Yeah, four to mount it. And, the old bracket and, and two to hold on the wiring harness. And there's like five more holding on the wiring harness back here that I'm sure yeah. aren't silicone also. No silicone at all. Boats go in water. Um, water goes in the boat. Water goes in the boat. <laughs> See? Shocks in the water. <laughs> anyway, truck. not good. Put silicone. It's like $3 to buy yeah. s to buy marine grade silicone. And it stinks, but it's not that big. I just put it on. It's not hard. Or work on someone's boat like you're working on your own boat. Yeah, that's a frame of mind you should be in. Terrible. Obviously, that's not the case in some, with some people. Thankfully, we're we're in Tennessee now, and, and uh, people give a shit about that. But everybody should give a shit about that. If you guys own a boat, this is a $60,000 boat. You really want to screw it up because you're you're cutting corners. It makes no sense. So you didn't want to squirt a little silicone. In bring it bring it to people screw. that care because they have the same kind of boats or or because they work on your stuff like they work on their own stuff. It is what it is. Uh, we did it. We found it. We figured it out. We cleaned it all up, and that's all that really matters. Yeah. So, hello. Real Ryan, life. You too, how do you feel about that? Real life. Just saying, real life. <laughs> Walk of the dogs in the rain. Yeah. When this rain clears up, we're gonna go put this some bitch on the water and. Uh, well, we're going to see if the transducer still works. <laughs> That's probably number one. Yeah. All right. Well, 
confirmed. We uh, moved the transducer, as you saw, put it above the slough, so to speak. Is that is that right? The no, we just came out of the slough. Yeah. And uh, went out and tested it, and we got about five mile an hour difference. Six. Six, five, six miles an hour. So, it ain't a whole lot, but it's more. It's five miles an hour more than we had before. So. It works. It and works. it's out of the way. It's out of the way. It's safe. That's the point, really. But also, we got a little out of it, which was sweet. Uh, thanks for, you know, got to thank Tom over there at Fishing Fun, Chattanooga Fishing Fun. He's the one that pointed that out. So, big shout out to them. Big shout out to Tom. Good dude. If you're in this area, they work on a lot, of, a lot of boats. Ranger, Mercury, of course. Yamaha, too, which is sweet. So, anyhow, it worked. Worked for us. Works for us. Very anecdotal, but that is what it is. Okay. Either way, it's it's what it's much safer where it's at now. It's out of the line of fire, so to speak, and that's what we were concerned about. It was brought up. We had no idea, um, but there's like a permanent there's like a permanent dent in the board. Yeah. On that side from yeah. the transducer, hitting it and resting on it. That can't be good. No. No. And the uh, spacer they put on it was because of that. Yeah, they put a spacer, as you guys saw, to like get it away from the board. Right. And they so didn't get didn't, it far enough away from the board. But again, like, why not just put it up a, above the wash? Doesn't make a bunch of sense to me. But I guess you know, whatever. Look, the point is, we uh, we had it pointed out to us, and we fixed it. And it's very simple to do. You don't have to pay anybody to do it. Nope. Um, just make sure you got the, the proper stuff and the silicone and boom, you're done. It's it's literally like all in all, probably 20 minutes. Yeah. 10 millimeter socket and wrench. Yep. And then for the tension screw, for the right, tension bolt. A screwdriver, a drill. Drill. Eighth inch drill bit and silicone. It's gonna it's gonna take you 20 minutes. <coughs> Easy. You're in and, and out. Four days to to seal up in 30 degree weather true so yeah i mean since we've been here we've had a couple diy videos diy yep. so uh this is the second one we've done the first one's right here and uh he looks pretty good on the pole i do we'll talk to you soon mm -hmm. see ya